Hey, what's up? It's Kels, a.k.a. The Drill Ferry, and I'm ready to motherfucking vent. So, um, do you kind of, as far as, so you, um, you do interviews and things like that, um, you do podcast and your, um, thing, I think you're actually, you're a kind of soul of the music. Would you look at yourself as a maternal kind of figure within the music? Yeah, because I, I really, I love music. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've been into the music. Actually, I used to be in a music business for those who don't know, mm -hmm. um, I was signed to a deal mm -hmm. when I was young in mm -hmm. California. Shout out to my sister Cherokee. Mm -hmm. She's been in, into music for years. She did stuff for Janet Jackson. She did a lot of stuff. Uh, Michael Jackson. She's mm -hmm. more. She's an artist herself. Mm -hmm. She came out when it was like the neo soul. Mm -hmm. So to me, she she wasn't um, she wasn't treated fairly in the business. Mm -hmm. I believe that's when that music first came out. And shout out to all the other people like what's this um, Bilal and. Mm -hmm. Music soul childs, those people they went far in, the, in that in that music, you know. Mm -hmm. My like sister, like neo soul, right? Neo soul. That's what that's what I said, neo soul. Mm -hmm. But when my sister started, that was not even going on. Mm -hmm. But she kept me into it. I used to go out there in the summer and I got signed to a deal. Unfortunately, you used the, to rap. I sing? used to rap and sing. What? Yeah, my okay. name was Butterscotch. Uh. I was in commercials, gang, growing up. Like I, I, I really had the privilege of being in Larrabee Studios, one of the biggest studios in L.A. Like, I met a lot of people. I just don't say a lot because I feel like people that know me, they know. Mm -hmm. I'm like that, but I'm like that, too. I've been in the street, too. So, I, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's like a balance. But hip music... I'm kind of living my life through these kids. Mm. It's deep, right? Mm. That's uh, that's dope. So okay, so you live vicariously through um, kids and stuff like that. Um, all right then. So and they need help. I feel like the government needs to step in more. Mm -hmm. um, and in what way? Because I mean, this city. I mean, because the city obviously with Eric Adams, everything is arrest, ban, censor. It's not all about that because it's mm. deeper than music. It's deeper than what we hear and it's deeper than what we see. And these kids. They souls is gone. Mm. They just need their souls back. Mm. It's, some of that is deeper. There's a lot of people that's locked up behind us. And mm. um, shout out to all the artists that's locked up. I feel like they're... I blame them too. Accountability. Like, they are not seeing their worth. Mm. Like, you doing all of this. You putting your life on the line to not be able to see it. That shit is different. Mm -hmm. So my job is to... I don't care what, what your music sound like. Really, when you come to my show... Mm. It's not about your music. Mm -hmm. It's about the inner you. I want to show the world that they can laugh. They human beings. <laughs> but some of these niggas give me a hard time. They don't want to come on my platform. There are artists that I really, like, personally want to really get to know deeper on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, uh, so. Yo, it's Kels, a.k.a. The Drill Ferry. And I just had a dope, dope combo with my guy, Slops. And you know where to find me? We just wrapped it up and I just vented on all y'all niggas. So pull up on me on the gram via DM. Peace. <laughs>